you too. What's up? It's your boy Josh, and I'm here back with another video. And on this video, I got a dude that got some waves. He's been with him for five weeks. So this is going to be a crazy video. It's going to be an all natural video. No enhancements. I know a lot of you guys be dissing me on the enhancements, though, but it's cool. You know, so this cut is a natural cut for the people that don't like enhancements. Hope you enjoy this video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and please follow me on Instagram. I have a lot of major heat on Instagram that I don't do videos on, that I drop on there. And I'm pretty sure you guys would love those cuts. I'm loving the support. So let's get right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Spielberg. YouTube, like I said, right here we have a major transformation. I'm going to be cutting his hair down to a 1.5. He's been with him for five weeks. So let's get right into this cut. So right now we're going to be combing through his hair just to lift the hair up off the scalp. So when we cut the hair down, it'll be an easier process. So right now I have my cordless wall seniors with my one and a half guard on. And I'm going with the grain. And I'm going in the same direction that he would as if he was brushing his hair just to keep his wave pattern accurate. And like I said, he's been with him for five weeks. That, that's what he told me. So as I'm cutting it down, you can see his waves start to pop out. As soon as I'm cutting the hair, he has them in there really good. So when I say pay attention to the hair pattern, I mean by cutting the hair exactly the way that it's growing. As you can see right here, when I go into the crown, I'm cutting in different directions. And I was in the hair tells me what direction to, to cut it in because it's growing and it's falling in that direction. And also being a waver, you control in which direction the hair grows. So that's why I say cut like he brushes. So right here I have my number one guard on all the way open, which is barely shorter than the one and a half. I'm just going around the edges, hitting areas where it's like tight curls that the one and a half couldn't really get. So to start off his taper, I'm going to go in with my Babyliss Gold Effect Skeleton Trimmers and I'm going to set in my first guideline and I'm doing it as in like a triangle shape because it helps give a burst look to the taper fade, keeping it low and dark. Setting in my next guideline, I'm going to be using my cordless wall seniors with the clipper all the way open, I'm going up about half an inch. Taking out that first guideline that, that we created, I have my cordless wall seniors with it all the way closed and I'm opening it just a little bit as I go blending that line out. Our next guideline that we're going to be creating in this fade is with the number one guard all the way open, going up about half an inch. So our next step is going to be with my number one guard all the way closed, coming right behind that number one guard open. And this is just going to soften up the line and right now I'm just going to be fading down. And when I say fading down, that means I'm working my way down to lower numbers in my guard system. So right now I have the half guard on, coming right behind that number one guard all the way closed, flicking that line out. So right now I have my number two guard on, which is going to be the biggest guard that I use in this fade. And I'm going to do another process of fading down. So in every section of my haircuts, I always fade down because it keeps my fades dark and it leaves room for mess ups, you know, if I ever have to go higher. So right here, as you see, I have my one and a half guard on coming right behind that number two guard, which is right between the number one open and the number two. So this is a perfect blend. Right here, I have my number one guard on with it all the way open, doing some detail work. And you will see me hitting that little dark area right there in between the section where the one and a half and the one open meets just to clean it up a little bit. All right, starting on the other side, I'm going to be setting in my bald line again with the same technique with my Babyliss Gold Effect Skeleton Trimmers, setting in an arrow-like shape. Setting in my first guideline, I have my cordless wall seams with the clipper all the way open, going up about half an inch. So right here, I have my cordless wall seams all the way closed. I'm just flicking at that guideline that we just created, opening it a little bit as I go to watch that blend come to life. My next step in this phase with my cordless wall seniors again with the number one guard all the way open and right here I'm going to start my fading down technique. So right now I have my number one guard all the way closed coming right behind that one guard open and I'm just hitting that line that we created with the one guard open softening it up with the number one guard closed to come back with the half guard just to blend that line out. 
so right here i have my half guard on as you can see it's mostly blended but the little hairs matter and the little details matter so i'm just going to be flicking at the line just to finish it off like i did on the other side i have my number two guard to start off my next section of fading down and like i said the two is going to be the biggest guard that i use on this fade just because we cut down his hair to a 1.5 and the two guard fades right into the 1.5 perfectly so right here I have my 1.5 back on and I'm going with the grain again just to ensure that my blend has a perfect blend. So right now I'm going to have my 1.5 guard with it all the way open, blending right into that number 2 guard and I'm going to be fading down. So now that I have it open, I'm going to come back with it closed as I walk down in my fade. And I hope you guys always notice when I'm fading, I'm always brushing after every pass almost. I'm always brushing. It, it helps to lay your head down so you can see your fade. So right now I have my one guard on and I'm hitting that same area that I did with my one and a half. And I'm just laying the hair down a little bit more just because that one and a half seems like it just didn't give that blend that I needed. And I'm going to be hitting the areas doing some detail work where I had my one and a half guard at because the one guard open fades right into the one and a half very good. So I'm just hitting those areas with this guard. So our next step in this haircut is going to be the neck taper and I'm going to be setting in my ball line with my Babbly Skeleton Gold Effects trimmers and I'm just going to be making sure this line is straight across. I kind of give it an arch a little bit so I can keep the sides dark for the neck line. My next step on the neck taper is with my core listing is with the clipper all the way open going up about half an inch setting in my next guideline. And as you see once I went by one time I came back with the same passes in the same areas again just to ensure that every hair was cut taking out this guideline i'm going to have my cordless wall scenes with the clipper halfway closed and maybe closing it a little bit as i go just to take it out my next step in this phase with my number one guard on with it all the way open setting in my first section for my fading down technique After setting in that guideline with the clipper with the number one guard all the way open, I come back with the number one guard all the way closed, flicking at that guideline to come back with the half guard. So right now I'm just softening it up. So right here coming behind that one guard closed, I have my half guard on, flicking at that guideline, just finishing it off. As you guys may be already assumed, I'm going to have my number two guard on and I'm going to be fading up into the one and a half which we cut his hair down with too. And this is gonna start my next section for my fading down technique. After going in with my number two guard, I have my one and a half guard on with it all the way open, just flicking at that line, and I'm gonna be fading down. So we're just gonna be softening the area until it meets with the one guard open. So right here I have my one guard on with it all the way open and I'm just going to be laying the hair down a little bit more because right here I have a little crowded area where the hair is kind of like nappy. So after doing that I took my one guard open and I went up and faded into that one and a half. So right here I have my one guard all the way open laying the hair down just to prep it for his lineup. For his lineup I'm going to be using my Babbless Gold Effect Skeleton Trimmers, my favorite trimmers as you guys know if you watched my review on them that I did against the wall scene, I mean the cordless wall detailers, the newer ones. But as you can see right now I'm just doing this lineup, um, making sure everything is crispy and I always, you know a lot of barbers do the lineup first, I used to do that but now I feel like I keep my fades kind of darker when I don't do the lineup first. I, think, I guess it just depends on how bad the haircut is because sometimes when you have too much hair on the head it's hard to um, fade without any kind of direction and shaping the line up first for some barbers gives kind of direction to the fade from how this video began you wouldn't even have thought that his lineup would look like this So right here I'm going to be doing this neckline, one of my favorite things to do on my haircut is the neckline always adds a pop to that haircut, especially a waver or somebody with low cuts, it just, it just does wonders. So I'm just going to be lining them up on his neck on both sides, cleaning up his neck.
Look how crispy that line came out. You can't tell me that's not sharp. You really can't. That looks good. So right here I'm going to be cleaning up his goatee and then going to be cleaning his face. Um, he doesn't really have a goatee all the way yet, but he wants to create it. So right now I'm just going to line it up and we're going to keep lining it up until it comes because it usually does on a lot of my clients. Like the more I line it up, you just see it coming in like slowly. It's like it's crazy how it just works. If you just line it up and just have that faith, you never know what can happen. So we're going to see how this turns out. I might show you guys again if we do another haircut on him. So almost done with that. After this, I'm just gonna clean his face up a little bit more. And what's coming next is gonna be crazy. It's gonna make this haircut pop. Stay tuned. So right here, I had to fade it a little bit on the side. I left this side of the fade a little bit darker than the other side. Um, from where the C cup is, the C cup on this side went like all the way down on the other side, kind of didn't. So right here, I just did a little detail work just to. Make this fade a, a little bit, sit a little bit higher so it won't look as dark when looking at it from the other side. So right here I have my Barber Magic Pencil. We kept his line up natural, but this is going to make his natural line pop. When applying the Barber Magic Pencil, you want to put it on thin and as close as you can to the hairline. That's just going to be the most effective way to make it look natural and give it the best results. After applying the Barber Magic Pencil, you want to always come back with the trimmers and smear it out so it won't look so obvious on the hairline. I see a lot of barbers who do this, but they have it real obvious. I, I don't know if they do it purposely or if they don't know that they need to smear it out to make it look natural. The whole purpose of this is to um, make it look like a natural ash line so we are done with this cut and like I always do I ended out with my Babyliss Gold Effects shaver just to clean the face up to give them a nice smooth look smooth feel to the touch to get out any loose hairs that's visible to the skin and just you know finish it off strong so right here I just added some oil sheen for the shine and I'm gonna brush it in you know just show its waves off a little bit give it some moisture some condition and all that good stuff you know what I mean because he's seasick on top YouTube, this is the cut. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Leave a like, share it with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram at Josh X Barber, as seen on the top of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy Josh, and I'm out.